Hey guys, this is Mel. Welcome you to my channel. This is my first video and I wanted to make this channel just to share my life, my story, my journey and I genuinely believe we're all our travelers in this journey called life and sometimes in the midst of it all we, we lose out. You know, we focus too much on the bad stuff and, and I believe in this journey we have to learn to embrace it. We need to learn to grow in it whether it's in our good times or in our bad times i believe we have to learn from them and grow from them and i believe this journey is so we can share it with others and that's the same reason why i'm i'm doing this channel but also i believe we have to rejoice in it we have to rejoice in every moment whether it's good or bad i think that every single moment was created for us to rejoice in it and enjoy every single moment so i really want to invite all of you guys to become travelers with me of this beautiful journey and yes there might be days that it's not going to be easy it's going to be tough times it's going to be you know just a hard day but you know what let's try to embrace those days let's grow from them let's see what's the purpose in that tough day or in that tough situation and just grow and share with others you know and just rejoice every single day we just have to rejoice because you never know when it can be your last so I really invite you guys that if you're interested to just following this journey with me and becoming travelers alongside with me um, you're more than welcome to subscribe to be part of this channel um, you're all invited you know anyone is invited to this journey and if there's something you'd like to share you know you can always comment down below and share your experience your journey or what you're going through maybe but today you know talking about journey and walking in this journey and sharing it with others I wanted to do something special right and I thought that it'd be a great idea to share with all of you guys and maybe you guys can like tag along in this idea and maybe you guys can share it with others and before you know it we'll have it all over the place but um, one thing I wanted to do, do is that you know sometimes we're having like heart problems um, sometimes it gets difficult in life and you're just like, you just want to get over it, um, you're done, you're, you just want to give up and, and I think it happens to all of us. We've gotten to that point where like, no matter how much you love your life, there's that one day that just ruined it all for you, right? Or, or that one person or that one comment that, that you think that is it, like I can't go on any further. But with that being said, you know, one thing that I, I love to watch on YouTube is swaps and for those that you of you that, that don't know what a swap is um, it's basically what it is it's two people like two youtubers right like um, they buy each other stuff and then they just trade it like they send it through via mail they send it to each other and then they open it up and every time like I love it because every time I see this video everybody's like oh my god it feels like Christmas like it feels so awesome and amazing like opening the box and then there's youtubers that go to the extra like that extra mile you know to like wrapping every single thing inside the box and like making the box pretty and everything and so I was like wow that's amazing right and so I wanted to do something like that but like with the people around me and people I might know you know um, to kind of make their day a little better but of course you know we have so many people we know I mean we probably couldn't afford buying everyone gifts so the next best thing and I think it's so special because you're taking the time to do it is sending them a letter but it's not just like, okay, I'm going to write a letter and that's it. But taking it to that extra level to where, like, you're sending in envelopes, right? And what I did was started to decorate these envelopes. And I don't know if you could see clearly, right? My lighting is not that great. But I started putting stickers on these envelopes and stuff because I decided whenever they do receive these envelopes, you know, I want that person to, you know, go to the mail. Another thing, I'm not telling them. It's going to be like a surprise, right? So when they go to the mail, they, like, take out their mail or their bills or whatever, like, stressing them out, right? And then, like, bam, they go to the mail, and guess what? It's like they see this colorful, bright, you know, like, envelope with all this stuff, stickers. And you don't have to do stickers. You can color in it. But So, um, again, you do not need to put, like, stickers on it. But the reason I did it is because I really do not know how to, like, be creative or be, like, or, like, literally, guys, like, the only reason why I put stickers is because I'm not that creative or I'm not, like, that artsy. Like, maybe if I paint something or draw something, they'll be like, 
what is that? <laughs> the party be scared instead of happy. So anyway, so I just decided to, you know, like just put stickers and make like the envelope happy. So as soon as they receive it, they're really like having a joyful day, right? Um, and then I took the time to like go the extra mile. Again, you could just choose any paper, like any notebook paper. But I wanted to do something more special. And I got this um, paper that has like print. Um, this was one of my favorite prints. Um, and what I did in this case, I was putting like verses of the Bible uh, that I really liked for this specific person, you know, something that I know that can like speak to them through whatever they're going through, through the, throughout the day or just any time, right? But like I was looking through the Bible and kind of looking for verses that it meant something to this person, right? So um, here is the paper. And then I just wrote on it. Again, my writing and my letters are not that good. So, but I'm really trying. It comes from the bottom of my heart. Um, and for this specific letter, I chose this envelope. And this is basically where their information is going to go. Well, actually, my information and then their information in here. I don't know if you can see the little sti the stickers. They're like jelly beans or something. Well, anyway. So, yeah, that's what it is. So, um that's what i wrote for them right like i wanted to do verses and stuff and those papers i got them guys at the dollar tree they come in this notebook and they're just a dollar they're from like the crayola brand or whatever uh, and it's actually pretty awesome it has all kinds of papers in here like all these kinds of papers different styles and these are like kind of like ripped out already because like I've been using these and um, again it's not an item when I'm sending I'm sending just letters and and maybe with the oh well, it's not an item but I can assure you whoever you're writing it to they're gonna love it they're gonna say hey like you know like this person took the time to write me a letter this person took the time to send it to me you know go to the post office get stamps and go buy envelopes, go buy paper, and write it and make it colorful. You know, I think that's something very nice to receive, very emotional and very meaningful mainly. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm starting to do this, you know, to kind of write in other people's days. And I think that if you guys do it at home, that's super awesome. Or if you have any more creative ideas, share them with me, you know, like I would like to try it. And if you are home watching this, Honestly, take that time, take that, you know, courage, I guess, if you want to say it, to, like, write that letter to that special someone. And, no, it doesn't have to be, like, your boyfriend or your girlfriend. But it could be to your mom, to your sister, your brother, your friend, your neighbor, or, like, someone you met at the store that you're talking to, like, hey, can I have your address? At? And then just send them a letter. And, like, how beautiful it is that if you have one tough day or one hard day and then you go into the mail and then you receive a beautiful letter, that kind of keeps you going and, and also, I don't only just write the letter, I also write verses from the Bible. It's kind of something that, you know, can uplift, uplift them and just give them that positive day, you know, and, and give them word, you know, to keep going and not give up. So I do encourage you guys, wherever you are, are from, um, whatever country, city, state, or you're watching this, that you try it at home. Again, if you have any more ideas, anything else, just like let me know and share it with me. And I would like to try it with you guys. And if you did try it at home, send me pictures, comment down below, see um, what you sent, what you did different, or just take a picture. Again, don't send me pictures or don't send me addresses of no one, right? Or post them and then other people are going to get people's addresses or whatever. But yeah, like if you decorated an envelope, send it to me, you know, give me ideas of how I can decorate mine. Again, this are more ideas that I have here. Um, and if, if it's for a boy, of course, you could like put boy stickers or if they have a favorite sport or whatever, then you can decorate it as is. But um, again, let me know whatever you guys tried. Um, once again, I welcome you to my channel. Welcome you to this beautiful journey and I just welcome you to become travelers in this beautiful journey called life. God bless, take care, kisses.